Here we go, ready? Wah! If I had a dozen of these in college, I'd be set. <laughs> Today you're going to be trying MREs, which stands for Meal Ready to Eats. Ooh, I'm excited. They are food rations bought by the United States military for use in combat or in other field conditions where other food services may not be available. They are also used in relief for disaster situations. Oh, wow, okay. I never thought they had a whole setup for that. I just thought that people are sending over what they can, like food, water. I've seen videos about these, and I've heard they're pretty good. It's gonna be like, just crammed in like a can. It'll be like, doesn't expire. So they're usually in these like packages that you can eat out of, but to make things a little easier, we're gonna give them to you already unwrapped and out of the package. Okay, all right. I'm actually really curious to see if they're gonna be like really crappy or if they're gonna be like decent food because you have to try to feed as many people as you can. I'm not expecting them to be good, but I'll probably feel like I've had a well-balanced meal by the end of this. Here's your first MRE. It looks like a Pop-Tart, but it's like super compacted. Okay, so I see cinnamon. That's honey. Is it? Oh, I'm with it. It kind of tastes like French toast. Oh, that's awesome. That's just like a regular, like, baked breakfast pastry. It's good. I like it. It's really sweet because there's jelly inside. Not bad. It tastes like a waterfall of canola and honey mixed with some wheat and barley. This is MRE's version of French toast. Oh, that's what it is! Yeah, yeah, I totally get it. It totally tastes like French toast. Okay, can I, can I have the rest of this for later? Here is your next one. Oh, Jesus. This one looks a little bit more intimidating. Here we go, ready? Wah! Whoa, what? So that looks like beef, maybe? Maybe chicken. It looks like Hawaiian bread. Oh, this seems like a lunch. I don't like this one. It's like super dry, and I feel like it's supposed to be meat, but I'm not sure that it is meat. It's a sloppy joe. I don't hate it, but I don't love it either. It's meat flavored, but I don't think there's meat in it. It kind of tastes um, like a pulled pork sandwich. I mean, it's definitely not bad. Like, if I had a dozen of these in college, I'd be set. So this is a barbecue chicken sandwich. I don't taste any chicken. There's more bread than there is the inside. And I think that's just to fill the person up more. It's not as much of a casual eat as the French toast. Here is your next. Why do they all look the same? <laughs> it smells like dog food. It kind of smells like <clears throat> spaghetti and meatballs. Is this supposed to be like a pepperoni pizza? This one's a bit more savory. A little pasta type ta flavor. No, I'm good. It tastes like regret and sadness. This one's okay. I think I like it a little more than the like barbecue sandwich one, but I have no idea what the heck this is. So this is an Italian style sandwich. What? How, how is this that? I don't get that at all. I wouldn't eat it again. Something about it made me feel not, not too nice. <laughs> okay, here is your next MRE. Oh, okay, something that isn't covered in bread. It looks like chili. Oh, this is pretty clearly pasta. <laughs> Does not smell good, <laughs> oh geez. That is the most plain tasting pasta. That's water, that tastes like water. Oh, whoa, okay, that's really bland. Like the meat has no taste to it, it's just like solid. The sauce has nothing in it. It tastes kind of watered down. This is the pasta with vegetarian meat crumbles. It can be eaten hot or cold, but in an emergency situation, you may not be able to heat it up. It tastes fine warm, like I like it. I would not eat it cold. This absolutely has no flavor to it. I'm so sorry, people have to eat this. Here is your next. There's pasta in here. It's like a beef stew. There's like beans, there's carrots. Oh, this one smells better. 
I don't like that one. The meat tastes weird. Yeah, I think it's beef stew. There's definitely chunks of beef in, there. beef in there. Oh, there's just this aftertaste of, like, soil. The only thing I can really taste is honestly the potatoes and like the carrots. I think this is like the top one for me so far. I mean like this one's not, oh, it's not that bad. For someone out there that might like this, that does like a nice beef stew, uh, MRE has got you covered. This is the beef stew MRE. Yeah, yeah, it's, uh, it's not super bad. I'd put it on a three scale between one and five. So overall, what do you think of all these MREs and how would you feel about maybe having to eat these regularly? It would be really tough at first, I'm sure, to eat all of these every single day and like not knowing when you're gonna be able to like eat regular meals that we eat every day. More than likely, they don't have a choice to look for at an actual menu of MREs and be like, here, you, I want this. They have, just have to get what they're given. They probably miss like their mom's home cooked meals. In terms of like flavor and, and just like whether they're super appetizing, they're not super good, but they do the job. My heart goes out to anyone that's like, like of service or anyone in one of these situations where they need to eat these. This is a way for you to get food in a scenario where it's like life or death. It does make you feel grateful and, and humbles you. Thanks for watching this episode of College Kids vs. Food on the React Channel. Subscribe, because we have new shows every day. Bye. Hey guys, I'm Katie, a React Channel producer. Thank you so much for watching this episode. If you like this episode, go ahead and hit that like button. Bye, guys.